There it goes. Hello everybody! Hello everybody! And welcome back to another video! Uh, it's uh, my day 1.349. It is April 26th and I am on Operation Cinderella today. And I need to explain a little bit uh, what I mean when I say that is I am in a little bit of a post-op depression. Uh, my, number one, my coochie coo hurts because of dilation. I've dialed back the pressure but it just fucking hurts. I mean, there's no way around it. You're ramrodding a piece of plastic up your, your vagina. It's going to hurt. And I tried to be so very delicate today, but now I'm thinking about it. Um, but I'm not here to complain about that. I'm just sharing information, uh, trying to be as delicate as I can uh, in verbally as well as to myself. It's self-abuse if you... Anyway. Um, but I tried something new today. Oh, man, why is this got to hurt now? Um, we'll push through it. We'll push through it. We're persistent. Um, and now you may not even care. You, you may not even listen to what I have to say. Uh, but here was my thinking. Okay. The tech told me, uh, the, the physical therapist told me to act like I was clenching a grape in my butt and exhale, you know, and then inhale. And that's when you push the plunge, you push the thing. And what I tried today is I would uh, act like I was holding the grape. Now, I noticed if I initially I clenched my butt cheeks. Okay, if you clench your butt cheeks, uh, you do a Claude Van Damme, you try and crush a walnut in your butt cheeks, which he, which he can do, by the way. He's just that good. Um, but I noticed that it seemed like I'm going to act like this is the muscle, you know, and imagine a hole, you know, you, they make, they push through this muscle to make your, your vagina hole, right? Um, and so, uh, you know, if you tense up this muscle, uh, I guess I need to do this. If you tense up this muscle, uh, it's not going to go, so that's why you want to loose, right? And you kind of work your way into that hole. Um, so what I found is that if I clenched my butt cheeks like Van Damme to do the grape exercise, uh, it actually pushed back, it tensed that muscles. And I, I apologize, I don't know the name. We're going to call it the glute gluteus maximus, but I don't think that's it. Anyway, so what I did is I noticed if I gently did the grape, I could feel what was my testicles clench, which is what I think she wanted me to do, the P muscle. And that caused a little bit of movement without the clenching of the butt muscle and so again i was able to get it in there so uh like most things balance a little bit of the the little muscle not the big muscle and sh okay goes through at least in theory so what i found myself doing is um no music no phone i think i was shooting myself in the foot somewhat with watching, uh, I would watch the previous night Stephen Colbert or Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel, uh, just something to lighten the mood. Well, I have a feeling I was laughing, and so I was tightening up those muscles, so counterproductive. So today what I did was I would count backwards from 10, and I would imagine uh, we were launching a rocket. So 10, 9, 8, 7, calm, relax, okay. And then when we had blast off, that was when I pushed a little more and, and, and inhaled, which is what she told me to do. So we're exhaling during the countdown and then we're inhaling at launch. And then I would hold it steady and I would go, uh, I would switch over to the alphabet and I would go up A through P, A, B, C, D, E. And I would keep it very calm and that seemed to work pretty, pretty well. And uh, I was able to... That, that seemed to be a better deal uh, in the last session that I did. I did put on a little bit of music, but nothing that would get, you know, I had to focus my brain, okay? So I thought I would share that with you. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the pains have subsided, which is good. So and I don't know. It's, it's just, it's a weird feeling. It's, I don't know. Anyway, um, but today is Cinderella, and, and here's why. I really feel like I need to be reminded a little bit about, so I'm going to not necessarily treat myself, 
but I'm going to be a princess today. Okay, and that's where Cinderella comes in. Um, I'm going to go to the mall, and I'm going to walk around, which is what I need to do to get exercise anyway. Uh, but I'm going to try on shoes. I'm going to look at clothes. Okay, I'm going to act like, you know, I kind of need to be reminded a little bit of why I did what I did. Uh, even though uh, they say clothes make the man or clothes are not important, but I feel like I need to pamper myself a little bit today. I'm not necessarily going to buy anything, uh, but I can honestly say I have never gone to the store and bought clothes. Like I've never gone to a store like Ross or JCPenney or Walmart even for that matter and bought women's clothes. I have always bought through Women Within which is my favorite clothes company online anyway for big for plus size girls uh but anyway um so I thought I would do that today is I would you know kind of I need to get some exercise it'll get me out of the house it'll get me to there I can try on shoes I can look at purses okay it's stereotypical uh lady stuff just to I think solidify or cement you know give me a bit of, um, I'm trying to think what's the right word, not vindication, but confirmation, affirmation, a little bit of why I did what I did, uh, transition, surgery, etc., etc. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to try on uh, sexy underwear or not. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I would love to try on like a bustier, okay, uh, and, and before that sounds really gross or whatnot, uh, my surgery, you know, things have healed to a point. I'm not like oozing pus, okay? And I'm sorry for that metaphor too. I just want you to, to understand it's not like I'm going to go and spread disease and pestilence everywhere. Uh, that's next year's plan, by the way. But we'll we'll deal with that next year. Grandfather Nurgle. Um, so for this, this time, like I said, that's kind of my plan is to be a little Cinderella. Little princess, I'm going to imagine that I am going to my court and uh, whatnot. And that should be kind of some fun. And then come back and dilate. Ha, 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 ha. So anyway, um, but that's all that's going on. I hope everything is going well with you. Um, I got to buy some makeup too. I've been making my little cover girl last as long as I can. I really want to switch over to Revlon. For some reason, I'm in a I'm in a Revlon. I'm switching all my stuff over to Revlon. My lipstick, my foundation, my all my eye stuff now. Um, switched over to Revlon as opposed to CoverGirl. I don't know why. Uh, it's just what I'm doing. Um, so on that note, I have a kitty cat in my lap who probably doesn't want me to get up. But anyway, my friends. Uh, that's where I'm at today, and uh, I'm in a positive mental state today, which is good, and I hope that uh, you are as well, and I wish you good luck in your journey, good luck in becoming the best version of yourself as you define it. Uh, I will also say I feel like I've uh, passed whatever mental constipation I had for the last couple of days. I think that's also related to the depression. I've got my mind thinking, I'm, uh, I'm getting closer and closer to these guys being painted and done, and I can play, which is good. I've got, we got Beltane right around the corner, and I found a place that uh, that does do a service for Beltane, so I'm really excited for that. I might get to meet some new people, some new pagans, some other witches, etc., etc., uh, like-minded folk, and perhaps a male witch, which would just be. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Right, right. Uh, so on that note, I wish you good luck in your journey and best of wishes. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Later.